Welcome to Ritual Scale Modeling. Um, on this build, I'm going to be showing you how I make up um, a basic diorama. Um, this one is uh, I'm doing is uh, for the main whippet, medium-sized tank. Um, I'm, I'm building this predominantly out of things I've got at hand and um, some other bits and pieces that I bought in the shop and, and things like that. So I'll, I'll go through um, step by step and um, you, if you've never done one before, you, you can see how, how easily uh, a simple diorama can be done. So let's jump into it. So to bring you in with, um, I had some walnut um, offcuts that I decided to use. So I'm just using a bit of wood glue um, to put them together. I'm not using any joint mechanism, so no house and joints, tenon joints or anything like that. Um, again, it's just a very simple thing to do. And the reason why I'm not using the joints is I am putting in some metal brackets which will give the um, joints more purpose. Uh, the base of the diorama is the actual box from the, the Whippet kit. Um, it's quite a decent piece of cardboard so it's a good box and it recycles. So again, as I said, it's just things I've got to hand. It's a cheap and simple diorama. The metal brackets um, are, are corner brackets, they are just um, cheap brass um, antique looking brackets and they're, they're just put on with a little bit of super glue. Um, you can tack them in with nails and things like that if you have them. I had ran out so uh, I just used a bit of super glue. And once the wood glue is dried, um, I just trim off the access, access card um, at the bottom using my hobby knife. and I'm using the same brackets on the bottom of the um, base so it's the same as the top, just a bit of super glue then place them on so I'm moving on to create the um, the canyon or the, the trough inside the dryer armour uh, again utilising the, the box the whippet comes into um, I'm also making use of the natural fold that comes in on, on the box and um, just cut, measure it up, cut it to size, then place it in. And then you can use the fold for however steep an angle you, you wish. And that should create the bank for a riverbed or a valley. Right. So before you put in the, the main part, it's a good idea to have a little support uh, underneath. So again, this is just a bit of stra scrap card I'm placing inside, holding on with a lot of super glue uh, in, in a V formation, and that will just give the structure some hold. It's now time to fit the main part of the, the bank over the top of your structure. Doesn't matter if it's uneven, in fact, um, it's better if you want it uneven. Um, check your kit to make sure that you've got the measurements correct. So once you're happy with that, um, time to build up the riverbed. Um, I'm using another piece of card here just to give it a little bit of depth. And then, once that's in place, I'm using another strip of card to bank down even further onto what will be the river. Once it's all dry and put aside, um, I'm just uh, putting some uh, pieces of paper around the edge inside the cardboard. Um, that's just to protect the wood as I'm painting. This is all right, onto the painting. Now I'm using acrylic paints here, and um, these are artist paints. Uh, you can pick up anywhere. So I'm starting off with black, and if you notice, I'm just stabbing the paint on with a thick brush. Um, the reason for that is you, you, you want a little bit textured if you can. You know, so this is thick paint, I'm not diluting it, just stabbing it on. Starting off with the black uh, to show a, a, a deeper level of water then I'm moving on to blue blending it in as I go on again there's no finesse here just stabbing it in now 
then once the balloon black's done and move on to brown ochre uh, this is a natural gold color i'm using here and um, other light colors as well before i go on to uh, green again just uh, blending it in as best I can. I'm no artist, I'm just doing this by eye. And for the land area, I first, uh, first I start off with brown, so it's a big mass of dots of paint and um, I'm just splodging it on. And lastly, moving on to, to green. So a few dollops, uh, dollops of that, and uh, again, stabbing it on, blending it in with the brown, and taking it down the embankment slightly. And once all the main colours are in, um, a light paint can be white, could be uh, any light coloured paint you want really. And again, just blend in the colours to try and give it a bit of definition. Now the paint's all dry, it's uh, time to build up the de definition of the, the diorama. So firstly, I'm coating it all with uh, PVA glue. And afterwards, once that becomes tacky, I'll be sprinkling in various uh, mosses and grasses, uh, a little bit of gravel that you can find anywhere in a, a hobby shop. So to begin with, I'm just uh, sprinkling in some gravel here and predominantly on the banks of where the river is and uh, some actual in the riverbed. Now I've decided to go for a, a, a riverbed, a river that's um, drying up slightly only because um, it would take too much to fill all this up with a water solution. And once the gravel's is down, uh, time to get some fine grass. And um, a lot of people use uh, sprinklers and things for this. Um, I like to do it by hand. Uh, you, you get a better control where you want to put it. So I'm just sprinkling this on randomly. Happy with the, the grass and little bits of moss and things I put on, it's time to add the water for the riverbed. Now this is a product called Realistic Water and you just pull it on, it's self-leveling and um, you just pull it on and it'll find uh, the areas where you want to put it and then I'll be leaving that to dry overnight. Before I can make the bridge, I'm having to make a, a template to um, judge the steepness and the contours of the bank. So I'm making this out of uh, paper um, and what I did was I uh, just put um, some sheets of paper all over it, cut it down to size like that and then just trimmed it up to fit. And Once I've done that um, I'll be uh, transferring that onto a thicker piece of card to cut out the shapes I need for the bridge. So now that I've made the template, um, first of all I'm going to be doing the main span of the bridge. So again I use a piece of paper as a template and, and so I'm just throw a, marking this out on, on a piece of card from the box. and then using the template that I made for the actual arches of, of the bridge. I only use, only built one template, so if you only use uh, build one, make sure you get the size um, right. So when you cut out one, make sure you flip it over and cut out the next one. I've got the basic shape um, without the arch and I'm just checking it for fit. And it'll be the same again with the, the, the span across as well. So now that I'm happy, I'm just uh, cutting out the arch. Again, using um, a sharp bobby knife and just uh, cutting around my the arch. You can do it with scissors and whatever. It d depends how you feel. But for a, a circular, uh, I think it's probably best to um, use a knife. 
and once it's all cut out I place it together with some tape to see how it would look in the diorama. Now initially I was going to paint the bridge and um, so what I did was um, I whitewashed the graphics on the box first with white and then I went on to paint it with the base colour. In the end it, I, I didn't like the look so um, I changed my mind which we'll get on to. One thing I did forget was to cut out some supports. Now these are little strips of card that are going to be underneath the arch um, to give the whole structure support and also to, to make it less two dimensional. So as I said I changed my mind and um, I thought the paint would just look too flat and I'm no artist as I said so what I decided to do was I, I grabbed some photos of um, stone bridges and um, path, stone pathways scanned the pieces onto the computer that I cut out for the bridge then overlaid the, the photos onto the, um, the pieces and printed them out once that was done I uh, cut out the pieces and then they will be glued on to use PVA glue onto the the cardboard. So same again on, on the pathway of the bridge, but this time the the photo that I'm using is like a cobblestone uh, image. And once everything's dry again, um, just trimming up any excess, so using my hobby knife once more to um, just draw along the line of the cardboard to take, it, to take off the extra bits of paper. Assembling the bridge, um, it's a, a case of using some super glue. Oh and uh, putting a bead along the edge and then just placing each arch on. Now the arches are on, it's time to put in the supports and uh, also that makes it into a tunnel as well. So these are the thin strips of um, card that i done. Um, I didn't put any brick overlay on them, I just painted them a stone grey colour because you don't really see them. So just placing them in little points of glue on each tip and then just placing them around the arch. Now the reason why I've done a lot of strips is because it's easier to put them on instead of one big flat piece of card and trying to bend it around. Same process again with the, the side walls of the bridge. So uh, there's three uh, parts to the main side walls. Uh, the outer, inner and top. So again a, a bit of super glue and then just place them on. For the walls I did toy with the idea of having them rounded but um, again it would have been a little bit tricky and so I decided just to go for the square block just for ease and time constraints really. So that's the main part of it the bridge made up. There will be a couple of little bits added to, to finish off from the the walls where you see those gaps. But that will be once the, it's on the diorama. For the trees and bush structures I'm using these um, little plastic uh, sprue things here. Now they, they come flat and you just take them, twist them and bend them into uh, what position you want. Um, and tell it to you how you want to do them and once they're in a position that you like I'm painting these in a humble wood uh, colour which is a 110 I find for, for wood, natural wood this is the best wood colour that i found so before I carry on with the, the trees and shrubs and things I'm just going to be placing the bridge in situ now so again a bit of super glue um, find the position I like and just uh, holding it until it sets. Back to the trees and um, a little bit of glue on each um, 
branch and I'm using this uh, clump um, foliage material and um, you just take little pieces and stick it on uh, where, where you put the glue. Again, you can have it any way you want really. And once you've done it, just uh, take it, have, have a look around to make sure you're, you're happy with the coverage before place it into your diorama. Now, on the base of this one, I've also um, put a little bit of super glue in, just putting a little bit of gravel and grass onto it. This is the only one that I used the actual base for the tree. The rest was actually uh, just uh, put in a little hole that I made inside the diorama and put the trunk in. But this one required a base, so I'm just building up to camouflage with the base, the base before putting it in. And it's just a matter of case of building them up as you're going along. So as you've seen there, that one just slots them without a base. It's a little hole that I drilled in. And you can see it starting to take shape now. So I'm moving back to the bridge and I'm just putting in the path of going up to the bridge. So a piece of card cut to size and then I'm using the same photo and laying it over the, um, the piece of card to blend in. And once I was happy uh, with the fit, it was just a matter of placing it into the diorama. Now for the end sections of the bridge, um, that was um, the same with the entire bridge. Um, just little rectangles pointing towards the diorama. And then all that was left to do was to uh, cover up any joins or whatever, with some moss and grass and things like that. And then that's the diorama complete. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, as much as I have. Feel free to check out my other videos. There's a small slide show at the end to show you the, the diorama once it's been done, as well as with the tank as well, itself. Look out for the um, the Ming build uh, for the whippet. This will be a, a after this, so I'll, I'll post it once I finish editing it. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye.